you probably already know how to use Google Docs to collaborate with colleagues or groups of students. What you might not know is that it also has accessibility features built in. I once had a student who was really reluctant to write more than a couple of words at a time. So we both got on a Google Doc together and I wrote a few words as a sentence starter and the next thing I knew, he was writing pages and pages. And when he stopped, I would chime in on the doc with a comment and he'd start typing away again. We didn't even need to be in the same room and I could still work with him to express himself in a way that he really had struggled to before. But that's just one example. To get started, open up Google Docs. Make sure to share the doc with the student you want to collaborate with by clicking Share and entering the student's email address. Now you can both use the document together and any edits that either of you make will show up in real time. So let's say your student has a lot of anxiety and doesn't want to raise their hand in class. They can just ask a question right here in the doc and you or another adult can answer right away without having to call on them in front of everyone in class. That's just one way that you can use docs to help some students feel like an active part of the class. Feel free to get creative and come up with a few of your own and comment below with tips for other teachers.